Now then, so we're uh, heading down to Edale and um, I'm going to be meeting Ian this week. He's uh, He's been and done pretty much everything that there is to do in uh, in the Peak District and um, he's going to be showing me how to plan and use a route card um, as well as some uh, navigation work which is going to be fantastic. Uh, we're wild camping tonight. Uh, I've chosen to take my uh, Terra Nova Competition 2 and um, we'll see how we get along with that. It is 9 degrees in uh, Yorkshire, Land of the Gods, and it was snow covered last week. Crazy. So, um, yeah, stay tuned. Let's get at it. Right, we've, uh, we were supposed to be meeting in Hope earlier and there's no parking. There's no hope in Hope. Um, so um, we doubled back to the youth hostel which we're staying at tomorrow night anyway and um, we had a coffee and um, Ian is a vegan as you know and uh, the lady that we were speaking to is the manager there and she was asking lots of uh, questions about how she could you know cook for vegans and hopefully she'll have some success and offer vegan food in the future so what's your pack wear then Ian? That's looking very much like 19k. I think it was about 17 when we weighed it a moment ago. Yeah. And my pack is, what, 10k, something like that? 10, yeah. 10k. Right, so um, we're going to set off and give it a go. All right. So Second take, we had a heckler. Um, this is a root card. Ian put this together. The video to this that Ian did, I will put in the description below. It is worth looking at. Um, Go subscribe to Ian as well, great guy. This gives you a lot of information and it's going to tell you where you are at each individual point. So there's a description of it and these actual names are written clearly on, on the, uh, the map as well. So at uh, Edale uh, train bridge, which is at that grid reference, it says on the on the map and you can, you can see it's clear as day. No problems with that. Um, so to get from one location to the next, it gives you a rough bearing, a rough direction to sort of uh, be be walking in, which you would then use your compass, obviously, um, and the distance between one place and the next. Any height difference between the two, so for every uh, 10 metres, you add an extra minute uh, to, the, uh, to your time, and the timings are an individual thing, and you're always going to walk at the slowest... Uh, the slowest person's pace, which in this case is me. Um, it's not just this case, actually, it's on most trips. Mm -hmm. um, so, you can allocate breaks. This, this information is very, very detailed, and if you were to be taking out a big party of people, you should really be qualified for this. If the helicopter? You say you've got a rash? Well, we can, we can see Mermaid's Pool from where we are. We're going to walk around a, a waterfall-ish. Never seen it, so I don't know what it is until I'm there, but I'll show you that. And um, got to put up the, the tent, uh, you know, do the sort of housekeeping bits. All of these housekeeping bits will be done whilst the kettle or the water is on the boil. 
Um, I've walked all this trip with my jet lighter in my pocket, so I'm going to have no problems lighting that fuel up when I'm down there. Um, because I, I quite fancy a drink. I have I've consumed exactly three quarters of a litre of water and um, I've just replenished my water supply so I've got a full two litre bag plus my water bottle which is three quarters of a litre so if I do my mathematics that's water um, I'll, I'll show you this waterfall when we get to it Right, if you, if you can see me, I'm not in a good place. Basically, we've got to scramble down to get to this pole. Um, and I'm not comfortable on wet grass. Um, so, we're, we're losing light, as you may or may not be able to see. We've got to rethink this. Uh, but first of all, I need to get off this wet rock, uh, wet grass safely we went climbed up out of that situation uh, Ian was planning on scramble down um, I've never done anything like this with Ian I think basically he was testing the water I was in no danger at all but because I could see well I didn't even have my head torch on at that point and I was um, panicking a bit. I didn't have I didn't have the skill, um, energy, fitness, anything like that. Ian picked up on that, and we came up. So now we're on a lot better terrain. It's not a path, but um, we're safer, and we're going to be continuing like this towards the Pool of Mermaids, where lots of legend and folklore shall be thrust upon thee, believe it or not. I just thought it would be, can I jump in? Yeah? I just thought it would be nice to take you down some sort of difficult terrain in dark just to get you used to it, just to go feel for it, but then when I realised what situation we were, I took us out onto a lesser gradient so yep. we can walk down from there, but we just orientated ourselves in this valley in conjunction with points of reference, top max. And that's why he's the leader. So yeah, thanks for that Ian. Footsteps. Make me on footsteps. It's about it's about nine o'clock. I'm estimating. I ain't got my phone. Now, but it's a, I'll get my phone out. Don't make stories, I'm Stephen. I'll tell the people what time it is. Alright, update, it's 20 past 8. Um, the wind, rain has been relentless and we are about 30 metres underneath Mermaid's Pool. Now, we're still being battered by the wind and Mermaid's Pool is actually on a plateau. So basically, it's just going to blow everything through the night. And um, we've had enough. We want to put the uh, tents up and uh, and do our business. Uh, we just got. We're in some woodland now, trying to find a, a sheltered place, and then really inspect these trees for a potential deadfall. Now, the tree that I'm looking at is right next to. So we've got to be really careful here. Um, Mum, if this goes out to you because I did something stupid and a tree killed me. Um, I love you. Um, there's a man called Ian Lawrence murdering. Quack on. Walk out of here down there. See that hilly distance? Yeah. 
the wolf will bump up the day back of the kingdom until we work with it on to Pennine Way. What, and just follow Pennine Way back to Hostel? No, we're going to walk on the Pennine Way back to the top of here. All right. And then we can head on the path at the top of Kinder Downfall, across uh, Walsic, straight across, and back down to Weedale. Oh. It puts us back on route. Ah, well, fair enough, yeah. Unless you want to walk back up the hill we walk down. I want to go to Poole, I don't want to see that and get that ticked off. Uh, well, we're doing that anyway, that's just above here. It's and literally 30 metres from where we were. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah sound. Yeah. Outside of my vestibule, for health and safety reasons. Right, that was actually our campsite just here. Uh, so Ian was here where me, and then I was at the back, which is actually a puddle. So there's a stream that's coming down there from that beautiful waterfall. There's a, a local red there. And then there's this beautiful one here. Yeah, very nice. We saw sod all of it at night because it was pitch black. Let's get on. So this is the, the wood that we walked through last night and you can see the sort of dead trees everywhere and fireplaces. Well done lads, all asses, he's scruffy gets. Um, you know, it was blowing a gale and we, we couldn't risk staying here for, uh, you know, the dead tr trees sort of falling on us and what have you. So we pushed on down, down there. But I think I'd come back here and uh, have a go at bushcraft, or my version of bushcraft anyway. So as far as tarns go, this is Mermaid's Pool, and this is what you find in, uh, well here exactly, in the Peak District. So just over this ridge is uh, Kinder Falls, Kinder Walk, Downfall? Downfall, yeah. But look at all this flat land, and it's not marshy, and it was absolutely throwing it down last night. So, for a wild camp, top marks. However, you can't drink this water, can you? No, it's salt water. This is salt water, people. Not salt water, people, but you can't drink it because it's salt water, people. Um, yeah, but lovely place. Go from here, all the way underground, all the way to another pool, which is also salt water, and then off to the sea, theoretically, though they've never been able to trace it. The urban legend is that there was a sailor. Is that not a sailor song again? No. The, well, the sailor, no. Oh, okay, we're not doing sailor song. But the sailor, he fell in love with a mermaid, as you do. Hello, Elaine from Leicester and Shaz from Hull. Wonderful. He fell in love with a mermaid. And because he couldn't be out at sea with them all the time, and because she didn't have any legs, so she couldn't go like shopping at Meadowall and things like that, and she couldn't get skirts and stuff, so it was a bit difficult for her to. Jimmy walk. Chew didn't make her shoes. That's right. And so she was walking, walking on these little fins, right? So he had to bring her here to this saltwater pool up here in the Peak District. And he plopped her in, plopper plopper, and he came up here and had relations with the lovely lady. Fish. Lady fish. This is peat bog, the enemy to all hikers. However, when it's frozen, it's still slippy, but you don't go knee deep. Top marks.
Well, I said I wanted to uh, learn how to walk on a bearing, and that's what we've got to do here. So what's happening, this slightly different coloured grass is our track, but this track often falls into these streams. Now, because the water's higher than it should be, sometimes this path is actually part of these streams, and we're just making it up. There's, there's zero, we can't see, there's no trig point, there's no, the other oh, knob, head. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, to recreate the path. Very hard work. It's good fun. It becomes like a game, but it has fun. Back where we started. Um, Yesterday we set off from here at about sort of two, half two-ish. Yes. Um, went up to Jacob's Ladder, up onto the Pennine Way. Uh, dropped off the Pennine Way in, her, well, trying to find Mermaid's Pool. Couple of different tries to descend. Um, scrubbed that off. Ended up sleeping out in a really nice location actually. Wet by the side of some water. You'll see all that, you'll know all that. And then uh, here we are. Um, I have learnt a lot again from, uh, from here, which I'm very grateful for. And um, I'm going to make more efforts to uh, to keep my map in hand and keep my eye on the prize and uh, you know help everybody else that's with me because uh, it's an important skill and uh, it's a lot to learn so um, thanks for watching and there's some photos coming up as i didn't know what to get a vegan <laughs> That's absolutely awesome. Thank you very much. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ian. Happy birthday to you. Thank you very much, sir. You're very, very kind.